Hello everybody and welcome to my uh, 18th Visual Basic and Excel tutorial, I think that's right. And <laughs> uh, losing my mind here. Uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to use user forms. Now, I said uh, something that I probably shouldn't have in the first tutorial and uh, probably uh, anyone who knows how to use the Visual Basic was probably shouting at me as I said it but the properties window is actually really important uh, and a very useful thing um, for example if you go onto one of your worksheets and you go into the properties it's got all kinds of things so you can change the worksheet name uh, you can set whether it's visible or whether it's hidden so you can hide it so if we go into worksheet 3 uh, we can hide it so and we go back to here and you can't see it down here anymore um, you have to go to here and, and and hide it like that or change it to visible on here or you can change it to very hidden and you can't see it here and you also when you, you you can't unhide it. It's not gonna. The only way to um, view it again is to put it back to uh, sheet visible. Um, anyway, project uh, properties window quite important, uh, quite useful, and I'm gonna uh, be using it a lot in this. And this is a user form. So if you right click on here, insert user form, uh, and uh, insert user form, and then uh, you'll be able to create pop-up boxes but not only that but the pop-up boxes will have different things on them so let's say we want a bit of text and we'll have this as uh, what is your name so this one here just gives you a little bit of text you can just write on it you know, what's the point in that well uh, the other ones we've got uh, we've got this one, text box. This is a little box that you can write in, uh, which is quite nice. The uh, person can type on it. If you double click on anything, then it brings up another module with the codes in for if that box is selected. So if you double click on something, just click on here and get rid of it for now. Um, then let's have another little question. Let's put that up like this. And let's have. Uh, what uh, it, let's have a male slash female and if you click on this one option button uh, aka a radio button which is quite commonly known as and these uh, you can you can tick like you can select and um, we want them to only be able to select one of them so what we need to do is just uh, click on both of them, right click group make one of them and then in the properties window, so this is where properties comes in change the group name to group one you notice you've got a lot more other properties on here um, and they're all pretty self explanatory so you've got height, that's the height for colour, that's the colour of the text uh, you've got back colour, colour of the background um, you've got uh, caption which is what's written in, uh, in there you've got uh, loads of stuff, you've got visible which I'm going to come on to in a second, you've got value that gives it a default value uh, we didn't want to do that and yeah so we uh, wow. Let's go back. We've got we've selected both of them. We only want to select one of them really. So if we go to value, we want that to be false to start off with. Because uh, otherwise, you notice they're already like selected. So it was false. The group name should be already group one. Brilliant. Okay. And then let's have another question. Do do do. Let's have what food do you like? And we're going to use check boxes. So this is just boxes that you can tick. So one, two, three, four. OK. 
Okay, and these can be ticked, which is quite nice. You can take more than one of them. Where of these ones you normally group and you can only have select one of them. Uh, Checkboxes you normally use, so you can tick more than one thing. And let's put a question mark on there because it's bugging me. And let's then add in a little button here. And we'll call that the uh, submit button. And let's just resize the shape of this box a little bit. So let's make it so it encompasses everything quite nicely. Right. So what do we do with this? Well, if we go to uh, a module, so insert module and sub open form. We want user form one dot show. Right, so it's going to take user form one. Uh, I actually want user form two because I added two by accident. Uh, so remove that one. No. And um, this will show you nicely how you can change the name of the user form. Um, okay. It doesn't want me to do that. Change the caption. And. Mm, let's leave it as user form two three. If you compare this as like. You can put the caption as anything, and the caption uh, shows what comes up at the top there. Um, if we go back to our module, then we want user form 2. Not sure. And if we go back into here and we press sort of F8 and we run that, then voila, here comes our user form. And we can type our name in here. So, uh, my name is Matthew, I'm male. And what food do I like? Oh, I forgot to name the foods. I'm probably going to go back and change the food names if I get rid of that. Um, rename these, say, uh, chips. I love chips. Um, pizza. I love pizza. Ice cream. I love ice cream. I'm making a really bad impression of myself, so I'm going to have a salad. And uh, so if we run this again. A open form, and then I can tick what food I like as well. You can take more than one, you can untick them, but male and female notice because we've grouped them together as one, they're only, it's only going to select one or the other. Then what happens when we click submit? Nothing. So, what was the point of even putting this button on? Well, the point is if you go back into user form and you might have noticed earlier if I double click on something it brings up the code. If I double click on this, then I'll do it again because I've got all the others. If I double click on this and it brings up a little sub. And this is what happens when you click the submit button. So what do we want it to do? Well I want it to um put see how much time I've got. Um this workbook dot uh, sheets, comma, sheet one dot cells uh, one comma one dot value equals. Let's just have that equals a welcome. And I've put something wrong there. Sheets, sheet one cells. I don't really understand what I've done wrong there. And it's because I forgot to put cells equals well, I'd put dot in there. So don't do the same mistake I do. And copy that. And then we also wanted to make the next one along. I want to make that equal to user form and we want to take the value of their text form so user form 2 dot text box 1 dot and then it's uh, all of these properties if you name the object then dot means you can reference all of the properties of the object so textbook 1 is technically a property user form 2 and sales is a property of worksheets so we want 
property of text was one that gives us the value of what they typed, which is value. So that's going to give the value of whatever they typed in there to there. Um, this workbook dot sheets, and let's not bother uh, typing this out. Let's paste it. Let's make three equal to. Uh, user form well we've got two options for this so we're going to have if user form two dot uh, option button one dot value equals true because it's either true or false then else and if so if option button one then this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells one comma three dot value equals mail and then if not then we want it to equal female and you can do the same thing for all the radio buttons so you could have if uh, user form 2 dot radio button um, it's check button, checkbox isn't it so checkbox 1 you can have if the value of those are true so if they're ticked then you could type something else so you could list the things that they have I'm not going to bother for now for now. There, oh, I'm just going to put user form to dot hide. Right. So if I bring up this user form now, run, and then put my name. So I'll put a Mr. Matt. And well, and it doesn't really matter if I tick these because I haven't told them to do anything anyway. If I click submit, say so welcome, Mr. Matt, and I'm mail. And See, so you can probably think of a better idea than to just put "Welcome, Mr. Matt Mail," um, but it's it's just showing you what you can do. So, if I do run that again quickly, you've got uh, Mrs. Matt, uh, female, submit, and there you go. It just changes there. So these are useful for like quizzes or you can have it to log in because you can change the property of the text boxes uh, to password so you can have bring in your password and then it would open up a sheet and it would only open up if you got the password right or anything like that. So um, thanks for listening. In the next tutorial I'm probably going to go into uh, class, uh, well, not uh, functions and calling other subs. So thanks for listening, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hope to catch you in the next tutorial.